Oh, I sort of picked up Transcendental Meditation, picked it up. I actually went and got trained in it. Um, when was it? Probably about two and a half years ago when I, I really felt that the, what was happening in my work life, this, this being in the middle of this extraordinary series of unending and sort of, sort of in countless synapses firing on the internet, absorbing all this information at such a fast pace and regurgitating it and putting it out there for others and reacting again that essentially my life was spinning out of control um, and that I was being sucked into an internet vortex that, that was, it was very all-consuming at the time, like an addiction, uh, all-embracing and riveting and fascinating because it was new and because the dish and I were sort of in the forefront of it, and that, that's always incredibly exciting. But I realized that I was spiritually out of balance, um, and that my mind was far too concerned with these fleeting phenomena and not with anything more lasting or real. And, and I knew that prayer was almost certainly the only way back, and my prayer life had rather, uh, I think, come undone a little bit. Um, so meditation was a way for me to restore the space, the quiet space necessary for actual spiritual life in the context of the World Wide Web and the Daily Dish, which at the time were just, it's like a massive, massive noise, a white noise that you don't realize is that noisy until you silence it. And then out of the meditation came more traditional Christian forms of prayer. Um, and I, I'll be honest in saying that I have not succeeded in keeping it up in the way that I intended to at the first. And that's partly because I think that, that I've been able to control the work in different ways and get, step a tiny bit back from it. But also because in this part of my life, and again, I've spoken of the spiritual life this way, but it's true, it comes and goes. And sometimes you're aware that you're completely losing balance and seek uh, serious disciplines to keep yourself back. And sometimes it doesn't feel that hard. Sometimes it comes more easily and you feel quietness um, in all sorts of times of the day. The job is to find quietness at every moment of the day. Um, and some people have asked me, and I think this is an obviously leading question, whether, um, whether Christianity is not actually a worse fit for me than Buddhism. Um, and that's a long discussion, of course. But that Buddhism and Christianity have things in common, uh, both in terms of their sense of peace and calm and benignness, and the paradox, the core spiritual paradox that it's in giving that we receive, then I think, yeah, I'm a Buddhist. But I think there's so much of the Buddha in what Jesus says, and vice versa, um, that both are pointing to a truth that is in my view, singular, but that we haven't yet fully understand, understood as a whole, and that we'll never be able to understand as a whole. Um, but insofar as meditation allows one, and TM is, is a non-denominational, non-doctrinal form of meditation, it really helped me. I think Christians have forgotten how to pray. I think we panic at it. Um, I think we think of it as a duty or a recitation or a monologue or some sort of series of, you know, like a, like a, like a blackmail note <laughs> sent to the divine authority. Whereas, in fact, I think it is about being with God as Mary was with Jesus and as Jesus was with God. Emmanuel, God is with us. And what we need to do is get rid of everything that distracts us from that truth. And meditation was one way for me at a point in my life to wrest back my life from this noise.